so when they throw up their move, I can hit them. My friend will hit them at the startup of their move, and I can hit them out. That's um, pretty much how I think when trying to recover back on stage. But other than that, I just I wait. I'm just very patient. Even if I gotta take a few hits, I'll take a few hits, but I'm going to wait. Just I can like go for like a low recovery and come back on stage. The only chance I'll recover high is if. Turn on the AC, getting a little chilly up in here. But yeah, that's a, um, your recovery options and whatever. So, pretty much, you want to use all your strengths to uh, abuse the weaknesses. If you zone people, uh, you're making it hard for them to hit you. The chances of you getting knocked off stage are going to be very high. You know, you won't have to worry about, you know, trying to come back on stage so much because you're actually zoning your opponent out making it hard for them to hit you and then once you um you zone somebody out 
and you kind of close the gap, you get into a corner. You can safely move in for, you know, pressure mix up, all that shit that I told you before. And, you know, you pretty much good. So you have to use the strengths to abuse her weaknesses. I mean, to hide her weaknesses. Because pretty much any, every character in this game, every character in this game can abuse her weaknesses really, really hard. Really hard. I mean, even if she wins a matchup, that character can still punish her weaknesses hard. So, if you use your strengths and your tools, you can protect your weaknesses. Because all defense options are not that good. They're really not. Especially she's in the corner or she's off stage, her defense options are not good. Her defense options only become good if somebody's like this close. Because then you can like... You can um... Like, neutral air out of shield. Or you can back air. So pretty much the defense option like right here mid range, especially in the corner, they're not good. They're not really good. Up, up close um shield defense options. She has those. She she can get somebody off her. She does not have a hard time getting somebody off her close close range. Mid range, if she's being pressured, if she's in the corner, that's when that's when shit becomes a problem. It really becomes a problem. So you really don't want to um, be in the corner so much, as I said, because her mid range, her mid to long range defense options are not that good. So in general, zoning with PG is really important. It helps um, opening up your opponent and getting downloads, getting reads, so you can pretty much make pretty, pretty much make educated guesses. Instead of going into a mess blind, be like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to go in. If I fair, is um, is he going to block the fair? Is he going to air dodge it? Um, is he going to try to, is he going to shield all day and wait for my double jab to come out? And then go for a grab, you know, whatever. Like, you won't be asking yourself that question too often if um, you use your tools like zoning and um, smart pressure. You do that. You can see how your opponent reacts to what you do, and then you get a general idea how to go on about, you know, the current match. Because it's not always about character, like, you can know the matchup. Like, say I'm fighting Olimar, I know exactly how to shut down Olimar. I know exactly what to do, I know what Olimar can do, I know what he can do. I know how to approach him, I know how to press him, you know, you know all that, you're good. But it also depends on the player, because not everybody plays the same way with that set character. Like, you can fight a pro, with a matchup you know in and out and you could pretty much be giving them a run for their money but you fight somebody that's not as skilled as that pro player and they're giving you a hard time it's pretty much because you're not adapting to what they're doing you're playing that person the same way you were playing that pro player you can't play everybody the same way sometimes you gotta downgrade your game for it to figure out how somebody um is playing and you know how they work because sometimes you gotta you gotta play simple against players that are not that skilled because let's say um I fight uh an Olimar that's respecting me like I fair shit I jab to um fair he's gonna stay in block because he knows better he tries to push away and get hit so if I know he's gonna block I try to go for a fair and then grab against an average player that won't really work because you fair they're going to sidestep a roll out of your block and that's pretty much you're gonna get punished for that so sometimes you have to downgrade your gameplay you gotta go back to just you know doing this over and over so you know for a fact they're gonna try to push a button you're gonna get smart player he's gonna be respecting you he's gonna be shielding like, he knows not to test this, so you mix him up. Fair, grab his ass. Or fair, jab, and then, you know, mix up, or you, you might be expecting the second jab. So do that, you know, cause more pressure. Even if he blocks this, the shield is being eaten, you're eating up that shield. You can get a possible shield poke, and then, you know, this on zero. Do that, continue your pressure. Yeah. 
So you pretty much want to um not go into a match, you know, aggressive. Like don't go into a match doing this. Don't want to do that. You pretty much want to you get defensive game, your defense zoning game. So um just. Get a general idea, like, you know, how your opponent react. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna try to roll to you when you're doing this? If he's rolling to you a lot while you're doing this and throwing him out, especially your move, you know for a fact, alright, he's gonna roll. So I'll just do this a few times, go near him, and then just do a down there because he's gonna roll into it. That's free damage. Um, but yeah, um, just zone people out at first. I start out of match, you don't really wanna, you don't really wanna go into bold. Because it's not guaranteed damage. You don't know if your opponent, if you go in, if you go in like that, you don't know if your opponent's gonna roll behind you and then try to run away, or you know do that and then just punish you for it. You don't know that. You're going into a match blind. You're doing this. You have no idea if he's just gonna, you know, roll shots up or you know jump to an air attack and you get hit out of your down air. Like you don't know that. Like, even if the person sucks, like, if you just started the game, you don't know how he's gonna react. You never know how, you never know how somebody's gonna play. So, you have to play in a certain way to figure out, you know, what your opponent's gonna do. So, if you please do that, you know, space your moves, zone them out. Don't always, don't always try to go for a down air combo, like, as soon as the match starts. Like, oh my god, I have to go in, I got a down air person, he sucks, I can easily get a down air. It might not be that easy, because you try to go for a down air, he's just gonna roll behind you. Roll a side step, you know, whatever. So even against, like, the worst of players, you still have to get a general idea of how they play, so, you know, you can minimize the hits, they don't get away with a lot of bullshit, and, you know, you can shut them down. And that could, you know, possibly lead to you getting, you know, freaking 3 stopping them. If you want to feel like a boss. Um, but yeah, zoning, pressure, mix-ups, that's what she is. Use those tools properly to help protect your weaknesses that a lot of characters can punish very easily. Uh, and you should be good. You have to, you have to mix it up a lot. You have to space your move and you have to zone out. That's what this character requires. That basic gameplay of, you know, going in with this and then this. And then going in with freaking floating and punching your opponents, that's not gonna work at high levels. People are going to stuff that shit down. That does not get you to win the high level. It's not gonna work. It really isn't. Uh, if you beat a high level player doing that shit, I'm sorry. They do not know about Peach. They do not know how to shut down them options. They don't. They don't know how to shut down options. They don't know how to punish or shit. So pretty much, they just didn't know what to do and you got a lucky break, so you beat a high level player because of that. But a person that knows our option and they're really good, they play it smart, you're just gonna, you're going to get punished. You can't basically go in like this. Yeah, Olimar in this case, he sees this shit, like word I bitch coming. You go like that, you're just gonna get a bead. Or he can run away and throw Pikmin, and now you're chasing him. When you had guaranteed pressure, you let him get away from you. You just run, run away, throw Pikmin, you're taking unnecessary damage. It's not gonna work. So, pretty much with Peach, it's just if you really wanna use her, you wanna get into her, you gotta learn how to zone people out. You gotta always mix it up. Even if I shut down all of my with this or that, or any character in general, you shut them down, it's a uh, mix up your pressure strings. Peach sucks to a point where people don't know how to use her fundamentals. People don't know how to use the fundamentals, yeah, she sucks. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna deny that. If they play the average play style, yeah, she sucks. Pretty much, it takes little to no effort to shut her down. But if you find a smart piece that actually knows how to zone people out, knows how to miss up their pressure, 